It's Mr. Old School Rider come back at you for the third time. Three of them, all three of them. This is my other pickup, but this time around, it's the second pair of Air Jordans. You know me, uh, this was my second pair of shoes that I uh, had on railway at, um, well, I don't, I don't know why I keep saying finish line. It was a Champs. I keep forgetting about that. I'm sorry, Champs. Yeah, y'all be looking out for you, boy. Let me put stuff on railway. You know, 30 day. We got them out before. Of course, you recognize the Jordan box. You already know it got the paper on it with a gold 2-3 on it. They trying to be Italian. It might be trying to be Italian. This really is a shoe that has a big Italian influence on Mike. These are the Jordan number twos. And this is actually my favorite pair of Jordan number twos because back then they had the Italian uh, leather on here. I know this is not Italian leather. I mean, it may be something like that. But the leather quartet is a whole lot better than the other Jordans. This quartet leather is going to be very close to the anniversary Jordans that I bought back in 15. But other than that, these Jordan number two Jordans actually built a whole lot better than a whole lot of other retros normally. They've been coming with with the low top Jordans for the last year or so. I didn't think he was going to do it like that on all the shows. Man, he's he doing it right now. Check that out. This ain't no whoops. I might end up getting a second pair of uh, low tops on these, man. I know they're not going to be making these low top Jordans for a while. On this particular shoe, I had to get these a little bit smaller. I actually wear a size 11 on normally. Like I said, I wear between a 10 and a half and a 12 on a certain shoe. Depends on where it's made at and everything. Else. If they made in China on some Jordans, I'm wearing a size 11. On these, I'm wearing like a 10 and a half because they made in Vietnam, you know.